Hello. Hi, Hi Cowboys. I crumbles because like I thought like you needed a password and then you did it and all I had to hit was launch meeting. <laughs> Woo, well, you made it, girl. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just waiting for a few more people to join and then we can get started. Awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. excited. I did it at, um, I made a lay at the Beach and Boards Fest that they oh. hold here every year. So, and it was fun. <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. Hello. Can you see me? It's Donna. Donna. Um, I'm having some Trouble, I don't see myself on there. Um, we don't I see just anything. unmuted it. Let's see. Um, Donna, Donna. I can hear you, Donna. <laughs> it says host disabled attendee screen sharing. Let me, oh, here we go. Let me see if I can just. Start uh, my video. Nope. Ask to start video. Oh, okay, did that work? Yeah, I see myself. Do you see me? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm yes, over. Hi, Donna. Aloha. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I seem to be in a little bit of darkness, but it's kind of <laughs> cloudy here, raining on Hi, Mom. Awesome. Hi. Two, three, four. Let Aloha. me take this off. All right, okay. we'll wait like two more minutes and then we'll get started. I love your beautiful, can I call them hakus? <laughs> your head <laughs> crowns. Haku <laughs> lepo. Pamakani made it for me this morning. I was like, it was such a nice surprise. <laughs> oh, they're, they're exquisite. I love your work. And I love your surfing. <laughs> Thank you. When I watch you surf, it's like flying. It's like soaring. It's just oh. really beautiful. <laughs> you are so sweet. All right, well, hey, let's get started, guys. Um, hi, I'm Carissa, and this is my friend, Pamokani. Aloha, everyone. Hi. And hi. Aloha. <laughs> amazing floral artist from Oahu, um, originally from Moka. Yes, born and raised, and that's where I learned the traditional style of lay making. And um, I've been very fortunate to work with her a few times through my More Aloha programs. And she's been so generous with her time and her art and her efforts. And so I'm really super stoked to act, partner with her today and share this um, experience with you. And thank you guys all for, for joining. Um, so <laughs> I thought we could do a quick little icebreaker and we could all go around and introduce ourselves, um, where we're from and um, what would you like to do as soon as uh, this pandemic is over? What is the first thing you'd like to do? Um, so I'll start. Uh, my name is Carissa Kainani Moore, and I am from Honolulu, Hawaii. And the first thing I'd like to do um, when this pandemic is over, I would like to travel again. Yes. <laughs> And I would like to go watch a movie in a movie theater and eat some popcorn. I think that'd be pretty fun. Um, I'd also, oh, but before we move to the next person, I want to introduce my mom. She's the one in the orange. Uh, her name is Carol. And um, Hi, <laughs> neat fact, my mom is born on May 1st, which in Hawaii is May Day or Lay Day. And so she was actually, yeah, super so special. special. She uh, she was a Mayday queen a few years ago, and so she learned how to make the traditional, like super tight hawk Yes, there's a traditional style. There's different types. I think we're gonna do more of the loose style yes, today. Yes. Yeah, more art, uh, really art style. Yeah. Really cool. Okay, so your turn. <laughs> Aloha everyone, my name is Poma Kani, and I'm from, born and raised on Molokai. I was um, taught this tradition through my mother on Molokai. And now I reside on the island of Oahu in Kailua. And I'm a business owner, a small business owner. And I now um, teach classes around the world. Wow, and that's thing I would want to do <laughs> is, after this pandemic is travel and just explore the world and eat good food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, um, let's throw it to Charlie. Are you, are you, um, will you be able to share next? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Charlie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, Hi. 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 
Um, I'm from England, but I currently live in South Carolina in Charleston. Um, so I'm going to like pronounce everything horribly. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I will try. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm a big fan. I surf here in Charleston when I can. I love it so much. It's just like my favorite thing to do. I'm so pleased I can still do it. They shut it down for a little bit and it was like, oh no, panic. But uh, yeah, the beaches are open again, so that's good. Um, and I guess that the thing that I really want to do is just before the pandemic hit, I was planning a cycling and kayaking weekend trip so we like cycle to the an island kayak over camp and then do it back the next day and it was like the weekend it all hit and oh, i've been planning it for ages so i'm like as soon as i can that's stuck on the cars <laughs> oh that sounds awesome i yeah. hope you get to do that really soon <laughs> right <laughs> yes and by the way i love your hair it's, yeah. awesome. oh my <laughs> it's a nightmare that i love purple hair and surfing because it washes straight out oh, so, I go, so I'm constantly like, trying to keep it up but it's worth it. <laughs> it's very cute I love it thank you for sharing Charlie. All right, all right Kylie it's your turn my love. <laughs> <laughs> Hello my name is Kylie Rossini. Um, I live in Florida and um, the first thing I want to do after the pandemic is over I would like to go up to Gainesville and um take my great grandma over to the mall <laughs> oh <laughs> nice so cute. i think I that, that sounds awesome yeah. i love it kylie thank you for joining us today of course <laughs> okay um who do we have next um hyun is is that how you um pronounce your name yes it's hyun, hyun. hyun. yes hi everyone um my Hello. name is hyun and i'm joining from san francisco but I'm originally from South Korea. Um, the first thing that I would like to do when this is over is obviously traveling, like many of you. And then the two places that I would really want to travel is obviously to Korea to see my parents and my brother and friends. But I'm not just saying it, I really mean it. I would love to go back to Hawaii. I love Hawaii so much. And that's why I'm joining today as well. So hopefully I can visit as soon yeah. as I can. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to welcome you. Yeah. That would be great. All right. Um, Mama, time for you to introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, aloha. My name is Marian. And, um, and this is Wyan. And when the pandemic is over, I have the first thing I'm going to do is book my ticket to Oahu because <laughs> I missed December because she was a month old. And I missed my usual February trip to a surf contest that I do and a spring break trip that I had planned. And I just, oh, I miss the island so much. And she needs to go. She yes. Needs to go. Oh, she's so super horrible. cute. She's super, super cute. Oh, hi. So cute. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm excited to spend an hour with you guys. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. All right, Mom Carol, it's your turn to introduce yourself. Um, Mom, hold on one second. You are muted. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Well, of course, I'm Carissa's mom. Very proud to be. Thank you. Nice to see everyone. Um, I can't wait to see my other baby when this is all over. <laughs> <laughs> So Kayla, my other, our Carissa's sister, my other baby is in Malibu and we have, feels like we haven't seen each other in months. So I can't wait to travel. And we were looking forward to going to Japan this year. So <laughs> we're going to have to plan the next big one. I think we're all looking forward to going away, maybe on a girl's trip. Ooh. <laughs> so that sounds that's, good, that's Mom. My, that's what I look forward to doing. I, that sounds great, Mom. I agree. <laughs> all, all right, Donna. It's your turn to introduce yourself. Yeah, hi. Well, I live in Hawaii and I'm an artist and I was a professor of fine arts. I'm retired now on the East Coast. And um, I can't wait to see my sons and families and grandchildren <laughs> in San Francisco and San Diego. And before this, I was planning on a trip to Japan to get involved with paper making. So I'm 
looking forward to be involved with the arts again. I work with a lot of papers and fibers and mixed materials. That's so awesome. I'm looking forward to when we can all just be free to move. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Oh. Well, thanks, Donna. Thank you, everybody. Did I miss anyone? I think I got everybody, but I just want to make sure. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Okay. Well, um, let's get started. Um, I also, before we start, I wanted to share a little bit about um, more Aloha, because um, I think, well, this experience is kind of centered around that. And to me, more Aloha means more love. And I, that's the name of my charitable foundation. Uh, that I started uh, a few years back in 2018. And my mission or my, my goal is to help young girls just realize their full potential, to step outside their comfort zones, um, to chase their dreams, live authentically, build self-confidence, uh, body positivity, and to take the time for others in the world around them. So that's my goal um, with my nonprofit. And um, I figured that lay making is something that I feel connected with through my culture, but also mm -hmm. is a beautiful um, activity that can bring girls together yes. and help to really slow you down. And just, um, I don't know, just take the time and be still for a minute because mm -hmm. this world moves so fast. Yes. Um, so I guess that's why I love, I love lay making. Why, why is lay making important and why has it been become your passion? For me, it's um, carrying on the tradition of my mother who passed this down on to me and through my kapunas and carrying on their aloha spirit through the, the love of lay making. Mm -hmm. And so this is just brings me so much joy to be sharing this with all of you and everyone around the world. So to get a piece of our culture and learn that side of it. Yeah. All right. Well, um, Palma Kenny is the master. So um, does everyone have their materials kind of ready? So yeah. I couldn't yeah. find a graph here, but I have twine. Does that okay. work? Um, you might have to cut the twine in three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rips. I can do that. I was like panicking. I went to three different shops. And <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's okay, that will work. Should we go through our list of things? Yes. So we have we have raffia or anyone or, has raffia? Can everyone put it up to the screen just so that we can make sure everyone has what they need for the lay making? Kylie, are you okay? Do you have materials? Yeah, I have the twine that I'll do. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, perfect. I, ha I have the this, but I don't know if I have enough. I only have a little bit. So if okay. not, I have the well, yeah. other ribbons. Yeah. You can make like a nice like bracelet or yeah. if, it if it's not long enough, so yeah. it'll work. And Marianne, do you have, um, you have your ribbon? Okay. You need three together. And how long would you say? Would um, you cut them? Well, as long as you can, because we're going to keep adding to the lay. So it's going to be. Yeah, perfect. So if you guys can get them out and have them kind of just in three strips and then do you want to tie, have them tied together? Yes, so okay. about how long did you know? Um, as long as you, it, whatever length you have, just leave it uh, because we're going to keep adding to your lay. We're going to keep adding string. Well, would you say this is like three feet? Yeah. We'd well, say this is about three feet. Okay. So we'll do three strands around three feet for now. Yeah, perfect. Oh, actually, these are in pieces. <laughs> I thought I had one giant rope. <laughs> yeah, it usually comes in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I should have mentioned to have a lot available. All right, guys. Um, and then you're going to just tie the three pieces together. Yes. Yeah, so the first step is to tie the three raffia together in a in a loop knot. I'm not sure if you can see. So I'm looping it and then knotting it through. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna it's gonna look like this, just like a Perfect. knot. Yes. So Great it's job. all together and it's not it's all you know in sync. Yeah. And the first thing we're gonna do is braid it down just maybe 
an inch down. Mm -hmm. You're afraid it. I'll show you more. Oh. Like that. So you're gonna afraid it. It's so fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's all it's you know what else helps if you're doing it by yourself you can put it in between your toes yes that's a really easy way to do it is you put it between your toes and then you can braid it <laughs> yes um should i show them some of the other stuff you have oh yes then, okay um so we're just gonna make sure everybody has what they need before we move on so i'll let you we have a couple things that we brought um so our fillers we brought some wait now should we leave it here we have bougainvillea as our fillers, and then we have some tea leaf and Song of India cut. But you can use any green if you have any type of green. So let's, does everyone have like a little basket of greens or? Yeah, nice, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay. I have everything in this bag. Okay, okay, okay great. Um, nice, has, Donna, that um, looks good. You have some ferns. Mom, oh, how about beautiful. you? <laughs> Okay, awesome. Moms pick some stuff from her yard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way. Okay. We have some ginger and carnations. Um, some plumeria. Nice. That looks good, Charlie. Those are great flowers. <laughs> yeah, so we, um, in the list that I had put on the site, we asked for like four big flowers and then four medium flowers, yeah, right? Yeah, so you want to make sure you have like four main flowers or at least two. You don't need that many, but the two main flowers, which would be our ginger that we picked, and we have some anthuriums. And our filler flowers would be our bougainvillea. We got. Should I show them your end version just to show them? Oh yes. Here, I'll I'll hold this up. So this is the lay that Palmakani made, and like so, like these are kind of like the, the big, main flowers. The yeah. main flowers. You you can point those out. And these are the filler flowers and main. This one I simplified. You can also simplify your lay. And then the greenery is what we'll use for like the, like just to the base out. stuff to yes. make it look big and beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, now we can we can That's continue. All right. So if you guys braid it down this much. We do another loop knot down. Oh, do you have here? Oh yeah, yeah. mine's is right here. I'll get started as well. So uh -huh. it's like gonna grab this knot here. And you guys, if please feel free if you're feeling lost or have any questions, yeah, like we can stop. Just we yeah, press like have us pause and ask ask the way. <laughs> I'm going to go up close. Yeah. Here. I'm going to move back a little. I'll bring this a little closer. Okay. Maybe I should just How's that? move this. Yeah, that's right. Yes. So, like, ties a second knot, like, a bit underneath the plait. Yes. Yes. Perfect. That's going to tie your lay together. Ah. Okay. So, we're going to start with our greens. If you guys have any green, So you want like just the leaves or do you want some stem? Because I'm just going to be like. <laughs> you can use the stem if you want. <laughs> and we're placing our tea leaf right by that, the knot that we just made. So we're only going to use for our base, for our backbone, the two strings of raffia we're going to use as our backbone. And the one raffia here is going to be the one to wrap around your lay. So we're doing a willy style. And we're going to put our greens right in the center of our knot. So it's going to be, you're going to pinch half of your leaf like this. It's going to look like a bow tie. <laughs> And you're going to put that pinched area in the middle. And we're going to wrap around the middle. Okay. Just once? You can wrap around twice. Okay. 
So if I have this kind of firm. Yeah, you're gonna do the same method, but you're not gonna do, or you're not gonna pinch the middle. You're just going to use the stem part. So about how long should I cut these off the main branch? Like in a little pieces. If you okay. can cut one of the stems off. And same for this? Yeah. Just cut off a stem? Okay. Yeah, one stem. Okay, that looks great, Charlie. Yeah, perfect. Sean, how's it going? Um, and we're gonna do the next one. <laughs> we're gonna kind of crisscross it over like this. Oops, sorry. Uh, Arissa, I gotta go to work. Hello, everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Mom, thanks so much for joining in. I love you, Mom. Oh, so wait, Mom. Wait, Bye. wait. Before you leave, can you please show everybody how far you've gotten? Because it's beautiful. Well, we're just talking, but. Oh, look at her. She's so beautiful. Wow. Just from our yard. But... OK, That's thank you, everybody. You are a true late queen. Love yes. you, Mom. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. OK. Um, can you just show me once again how you put the fern in, how you tie okay, it so in? So use the stem part of yeah. your fern, and you're going to face the fern up to the sky. So oh, okay. you want to face it upwards. Right. Is your fern too big? And maybe cut the fern a little bit down, smaller. Okay. So if you guys have your crisscross of your leaf, tea leaf, or fern. How did you tie it in? So you're going to lay it flat on your two raffia here right so this is going to be your backbone right. um and the other raffia the third one you're going to wrap around your leaf oh okay and you want to wrap towards you and pull so here we are mm -hmm. and now i'm going to add my bougainvillea I'm going, to, I'm going to add it right in the middle of my leaf here. Yeah, perfect. Good job. And just keep wrapping. And just keep wrapping the stems. So you want to make sure the stems are, you have a bit of a stem. Okay. So you want to wrap. And every time you add a flower, you want to add a leaf next. So, so it's the leaf, flower, leaf. Okay. So the next one, I'm going to add an, a Song of India, which is another variety. Uh-huh. So... Does anyone need help? Um, so good. So it's always going to face the front. Never put flowers in the back of your lay. Okay. You can put leaves in the back. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the flower should always face the front. How's everybody looking? Hyun, do you need any help? How's it looking? Oh, it's really pretty. Oh, I like no. it. Are you doing good with like the wrapping and stuff? Is it making sense? Yeah, I I just I just think I might not have gotten the right kind of greens, but whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have whatever well. greens you have. It looks yeah. those are really pretty. Yeah. I love them. <laughs> okay, cool. It looks good so far. Huh. Okay. You want me to cut something for you? So we're gonna add, I'm gonna add my, one of my main flowers, which is my anthurium. So the rule is leave the leaf, flower, leaf, flower, leaf, flower. But 
you want to add in between your of your main flower mm -hmm. your filler flower underneath so I'm going to change up my filler flower. I'm going to add some of these yellow mums. Mums. Mum mums. <laughs> They're so bright. Oh, yeah. The stem bee. That's a perfect length. Oh, OK. I kind of use the, the stems to create a really strong backbone. OK. Nice. So sometimes it can get flimsy if you don't have enough stems. Kylie, how you doing? I'm doing good, actually. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> you know, I love that confidence. Yes. I just have like everything, like all the strings stuck in my toes. So I love it. <laughs> That's perfect. Awesome. Kylie, I can't wait to go for a surf with you in person. Yes, I know that would be my dream. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it happen after this quarantine is over. Sounds good. <laughs> so you can either have a pattern going or you can just kind of mix and match uh, the colors. I always go with different colors. So very colorful. Yeah, my house is an explosion of color, guys. Like I literally. <laughs> It looks like a, a bag of Skittles like vomited over my house. <laughs> For it, I support you. Thanks. <laughs> so just follow your uh, backbone down. Okay. Make sure it's all aligning. So it's kind of looks like a straight line down. Krista, do you like to do a lot of artistic things? Because you love color. Your boards are very colorful. <laughs> um, I, I wish I was more artistic. My dad and my sister, um, they inherited, or my sister inherited all the art skills. She's, um, she's really good at painting and drawing. And my uh -huh. dad's really good at, he was a graphic artist. Uh -huh. um, I tried to take a ceramics class a few days ago. Uh -huh. uh, that didn't really go that well, but it was fun anyway. <laughs> Awesome. I love well, it only it's matters just, that you enjoy trying it. Yes, it's all yes, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get out there and give it a shot. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How is your everyone sister, doing? Good. Your oh, sister okay. needs to do one of these Zoom meetings and teach everybody how to paint like she does. Oh, yeah. I yeah. love that. I will definitely put that on her radar. That's a great idea. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's actually working on a pajama line now. Ooh, what? Pajama. Keep your Is eye out. Your clothing? Well, that's the plan. Oh, I that's know. So awesome. <laughs> that's so awesome. Did she paint that? Yes. Oh my God. So beautiful. Yeah. I'll actually show everybody. It's so, so beautiful. My sister. So here I am. As like a world, my world title, like gift, she painted this for me. That's me surfing so, in a rainbow. That's so beautiful. That is so cool. <laughs> She's so talented. Um, I also want to say hi to all our YouTube followers. We actually have like a bunch of people on YouTube joining in as well. So Hello, hi everyone. Thank you for joining in today. <laughs> How many filler flowers are you putting before you do another big one? Just one. Oh, but okay. it's really up to you. If you really want to get creative, you can, you know, do whatever you want. There's really no rules for it. It's just, you know, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> I like that. More of that. It's so nice to you lay. It like yeah. makes me really happy. <laughs> yes. And if you guys are running out of your string, like I am right here, I add a string. You can keep adding your string back into your lay by just wrapping it in. Okay. So just wrap your wrap you. So what do you 
do on Lady? I've not heard of it before. We make lay all day. <laughs> <laughs> and we wear it all day and, you know, it dance just, around <laughs> and do the hula. <laughs> and it just smells really good yes. and everybody's happy. Um, oh, but do, a happy day. do you know how um, like Lay Day became, came to be May 1st? Or it was, you know, I'm not really sure how it <laughs> came for the day, but I think we just wanted to, um, you know, appreciate lay making yeah and give it a day to appreciate so we can like dance and you know share the aloha spirit mm -hmm. yeah so for in in the hawaiian culture um lays are a symbol of like respect of love of unity mm -hmm. and it's something that you give on special occasions it's something that you give to when you welcome somebody yes. um when you're weaving a lei, you're putting all your love into the lei. So always think good intentions. And then there's a neat fact. When you're pregnant and you have, you're wearing a lei, you always leave it open. open. Yes, that's for good luck. So not tangle, you know. <laughs> so neat fact of the day. <laughs> All right, should we check in with everybody? Charlie, that's oh, looking that really pretty. Beautiful. I love your color scheme. I love yellow. Yellow is my favorite so color. Pretty. Kylie, let's see it. Ooh, girl, you oh, didn't tell me you've done this before. She's like, so, I <laughs> can't <a> secret. <laughs> when I get more into it, I have these hibiscus oh, flowers. Yes. They live here. So I have oh, so in my oh, I love the hibiscus. That's our state flower, right? Yes, it is. Yellow. Aww. And how, Donna, how are you doing? Oh, so pretty. I love your ferns. Those ferns yeah. are really nice. They're pretty neat. And I'm about to put in an orchid. I have two orchids. Oh, the orchid. I was kind of saving it for the front. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> maybe I'm, maybe I'm not. Um, you can cut it, cut your uh, ferns down a little bit smaller. Shorter. But if you want it like that, that's beautiful too. However you want it. Yeah. I just pop that one in. And Sean, how are you doing? Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh. I love it. <laughs> so pretty. I think I'm probably gonna make a bracelet because I'm okay. running out of the, <laughs> the oh. ribbon. You, if you have a dog, you could make your dog a little hot. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put it on the dog. <laughs> I have a question. Yes, go for it. So if you're running out of string, are you allowed to like pretty much just tie another piece of string on it? Yeah, you can either tie it or you can just wrap it in. So just kind of wrap, wrap it in one place for a little, like three times and then just continue on. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, I just did that too. <laughs> okay. So I'm keep just adding. <laughs> I'm really scared of dropping it and it all just like unraveling. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, make sure when you wrap, you want to pull up on your string to make sure it's tight. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And use the stem of the flower as your backbone so it's really strong. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I think I'll give it a bit more stem. Uh, so everyone on here, do you guys all surf? Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's every day, favorite. every Ooh. day, I love it. I, I'm the same. I'm very religious about it. <laughs> no matter what yeah. it looks like. Sean, I have a question for you. Is is there some fun surf in Korea? Actually, surfing is has been a popular subculture in Korea. There is an island called Jeju, and then we call it Hawaii of 
Korea. Oh, no way. <laughs> I don't think it's really um, <laughs> comparable, but yeah, a lot of people surf there. That's awesome. Oh. That's really cool. I have to try that wave. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, actually, that's, I actually follow quite a few South Korean surfers on Instagram, and it's really cool because I would never have thought, yeah. That's <laughs> I really want to go now, I'm going to see that. <laughs> and I like Korean food, so that would be a win-win for me. Oh, Surf and Korean food. <laughs> so good. Yeah, and then that yeah. island has really nice food as well, so I highly recommend. Okay, oh. thanks. Rissa, what does your day look like when you're back on Oahu? You're kind of oh. on a schedule, <laughs> you're surfing and working out. And yeah, so as of recently, just with everything going on, um, I really settled into a nice home routine. I usually go to the beach early morning mm -hmm. and then um, I'll meet my husband at the tennis courts. We've been playing tennis. Um, and so we play a couple matches of tennis and take the dogs to the park. And then usually come home and rest and do stuff around the house. Um, we're actually getting ready for a remodel. So we've been trying to pack our boxes slowly so it's not super overwhelming <laughs> at the end. And then um, I'll train in the afternoon or go for another surf. But lots of lots of physical activity because that, that just keeps me happy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> My thing just all the way unraveled. Oh, oh no. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So, but I have left. Oh, okay, that's, that's all beautiful. right. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Good. Amazing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, really nice. I yes. love it. I love those colors, Marion. Just make sure you're putting your next flower right underneath the, the next flower so it goes in a straight line. Okay. This is looking beautiful. <laughs> you can tell you're professional. <laughs> All right, I have a question for you, Tom. Yes. Okay. Um, through lay making, um, what are some of the most unique experiences that your passion for lay making has like taken you or the people like, like, who are the most interesting people you've met through this? Um, yeah, I guess I'm just interested. Definitely you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool because uh, I met Carissa on my homeland on Molokai, which is so awesome because <laughs> we met on the island of Molokai. And through that, we are here now. We've yeah. done so many things together and that's just so beautiful. I feel like uh, it brings so much together. I, honestly, I was so starstruck when I met <laughs> Pamakani for the first time, because um, I had been following her. Um, she's Ocean Dreamer on Instagram, by the way, if anybody wants to go and just like <laughs> look, stalk her beautiful flower oh photos. Um, but I was like, Super starstruck, and she had made me a, a head. Uh, a I love starstruck too, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's cool!" So I gotta make a layer. <laughs> no, so it was it was meant to be. Yeah, it was. It was. I was like, "Oh my god!" I was so excited. I had my daughter there, and she met Carissa. And, you know, my my whole family actually is such big fans because we're all surfers too, and so we grew up. <laughs> well, I'm much older than she is, but my younger sisters were so. <laughs> involved with your you know how's she doing oh really good she's living on molokai and she's you know she just got her homeland on twine homestead land yeah. and so she's cultivating you know her whole farm and living off the land i love it yeah it's good is that a really big thing in throughout hawaii like living off the land and growing your own food yes especially on molokai i feel like um there's not a lot of like big buildings or stores to shop at. We really had to live off the land, like farm, hunts, fish. So everything mm -hmm. is um, whatever, you know, we, we learn from the Aina and we give back mm -hmm. to, to our land by just, you know, taking care of the Aina. Yeah, I love it. That's such a skill too, like to be able to be self-sufficient by that. That's what I miss about 
my homeland, Molokai. Mm -hmm. But it's good now that everyone is pretty much getting into that same mindset of growing their own food, okay. learning how to fish. <laughs> I feel like that's been one of the positives of this time yes. is it's gotten everyone to like simplify. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, and really think about what you're buying and what you need. That's so important. All right, guys, this is how Minds is coming along. Hey. You are beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. That's beautiful. Everybody's doing oh, so great. Oh, I love it. I like the pattern. I do have a question about Hawaii, though. Like, um, yeah. it's. Do a lot of people litter? Do a lot of people litter? Yeah. I don't think so. I, I feel like it has changed over time. I think yeah. people are becoming more conscious of it. I think we do get a lot of trash on our beaches that come in from like different, um, like swells and tides yes. and yeah. currents. So mm -hmm. we get a lot of like on our East shores, we get a lot of like microplastics and stuff mm -hmm. from other places in the world. Um, yeah. I think we do a pretty good job here, There's but I mean- a lot of beach cleanup now. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing to do. It's a here, it's just, we have like a really big, like destination spot in Cocoa Beach. So we get a lot of trash. Really? And now in our parking lots, all we see is gloves and masks on the ground. It's just- No, oh, that's so sad. Oh my gosh. Kylie, you need to start like a like a competition or something and say, hey, like if you if you can clean up like a bag of trash, I will give you a lay. That I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's a great idea. <laughs> I will definitely do that. <laughs> All right. Where? How is um? How big? Is, how big is yours already? Oh, is yours? mine's are all, is almost there. How are you? Oh my gosh! I know. She's she's professional. That's so pretty. <laughs> it's really colorful. I just go with the flow. <laughs> Whatever. There. But like, you just like measure it around your head. Is that how how long you should go for? How big? Oh, you, if you want to just make it like a crown for your pole, you can make it this short, like maybe like that. Yeah, just measure it around your head pretty much, huh? Yes. And if you want to pull it, you just kind of put it on your head and measure it. Are we aiming for the whole way around or like? <laughs> it's up to you uh -huh. and how many flowers you have. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Because I was getting towards the end and like, <laughs> as long as it covers the front part of your head, it, you're good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I have to say, I think this is the most like, um, linear I've wow. had mine. Usually when I make my lays, they end up like super curved. But this that one's like kind of tight this it's time. So good. Yeah, mine's got a, like a nice, um, it's like nicely head shaped without even trying. I was like, oh. <laughs> so beautiful. Good job. This what? is really fun. And like, this I'm is my really dog, Mia. Oh, yeah, say hi. Oh, okay. Look, she, oh, look at your little crown. You want to wear a crown? <laughs> like, yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> She's our quarantine dog. We adopted her in March when this all started. <laughs> it's been fun having a little baby around in the middle I, of everything. She oh. provides a lot of distraction. I, I, that would be a perfect positive distraction right now. She's it's mm. really fun. <laughs> What's her name? Wyan. Wyan. Oh, Wyan. Like firstborn in Bali. 
Nice. When I was five months pregnant, I took a group of my surf students to Bali for spring break. Oh, wow. And we nice. surfed Ulus for like almost oh. two weeks. Wow. And I, every time I wanted to wave by myself, I would just yell at everybody, pregnant lady. <laughs> Lady with a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I get priority. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I got so many good waves. At my <laughs> I will definitely be using that card one day when I'm pregnant. Yeah. And I was totally thinking about all the, my the uncles who like throw their bellies around when they surf. I'm like, I'm doing this. <laughs> this is it. I love it. And when I walked back up the hill after this surf one day, there was um there was an elder who was selling water and she saw me and she goes it's your first and she touched my belly and goes Wyan. and we hadn't picked a name yet but um my partner and i love we're both goofy footers and we love bali so much and we decided and we didn't know if we were going to have a boy or a girl but it didn't matter because Wyan is your firstborn and so that was going to be her name his name who whatever we were going to have that's so special. I love that. I like, I love, I, sorry, go ahead, Kylie. Oh, <laughs> say, I love how you guys are doing this because here in Florida, we don't really have like a, like a tradition like this, like to where you just make lays and do that <laughs> stuff. Oh, so it's oh, cool. I'm so glad you're here. Me too. <laughs> Uh, we're the same. We don't really have any like fun, shareable traditions. So it's like drinking. Well, you guys can so start it. You can start the lay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think carry it on. Yeah. I, think, I think we are there. How are you guys doing? I am almost done. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. More leaves to add. Ooh, I love it. Oh, I love is it I'm supposed to unravel? from behind? Kylie, what, let me see. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's so put, put it up to the, the screen, screen and let's check it out. So like in the beginning oh. part, like it'll unravel. Oh. What do you think? Let's spotlight you, can... you, Kylie, and yeah, let's let me see. see how to fix it. Cause like it's unraveling, but it's not that tight up here anymore. It's kind of hard to see though. Did you tie a second knot in the beginning? I mean, <laughs> after you. Yeah, I did. Knot. Okay. Did you did you use um the two raffia ribbons and then wrap around? It looks like you did. Yeah, it looks like you did. Yeah. What you can do is just get a little um cut a little piece of your yarn or your raffia or yeah whatever twine. you use the twine and you can tie a knot at the top with okay i'll do that yeah if you yeah if you tie, probably can double just... knot it at the top with your flower okay and just keep wrapping yeah <laughs> i think if you keep wrapping it'll stick yes <laughs> this is such a nice meditation almost there yeah um, we can, I think, um, Pamakani, yeah. if you guys are okay, we're going to show you kind of how to, um, finish them up, okay. like to tie them, um, to tie them up and complete them. Okay. If you have your stems sticking out, I'll just cut the end part. And with the one raffia that you were, you've been using, I just tie a knot, a loop knot at the end. So kind of like loop knot it twice. And I have three raffias left here, just dangling down. So I will just braid the rest. Mm 
Oh, let me see. Oh, what am I doing? Beautiful. So oh, I'm just gorgeous. Braiding the end part. <laughs> How's it looking? Is it okay, guys? Uh, yes. <laughs> if it doesn't go all the way around your head, should I braid for longer? If it doesn't go all the way Sorry, around say your again? Head. Or if it doesn't go around. Should she just braid longer? Yes, just braid it long enough to tie around your okay. head. Um, so, so you mentioned that like when, when you're pregnant, you don't really like close it. Does that mean you don't close it in a circle or you don't, do you mean? Well, not for your head, not for the lay on your head, like the lay pole, but if you're wearing a long lay on your neck, around your neck, it should be open. So it's pretty much just like making like a long yeah. strand of flowers and then you just drape it over your shoulders. Yes. It's just a good luck thing. Um, I, it has to do with like the umbilical cord. Yeah, and the umbilical cord so it doesn't wrap around the baby's neck. And then but, for head crown, it doesn't matter. Yeah, for the for the lay that we're making, you can- Got it. A lot of um, you know, baby showers, they order a haku lay or lay pole to wear instead of a lay. Got it. <laughs> Is it the same like technique to make the round the neck ones and the head ones? Is it similar? It's a total different style. Oh. Needle, thread. And string. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Those okay. are a little more simple. Yeah, that was, yes. Very simple. <laughs> needle and string. Ah. And plumeria. Charlie, <laughs> do you have plumerias in um North, is it South Carolina, North Carolina? Is that what you said? South Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina. Um, I have no idea. I don't really know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so these, these are plumerias and they smell amazing. Um, yeah. And all you do when you make a lay is you get a bunch of these and then you get the needle and you literally stick it through the middle of the flower and string it. And then you can just, oh, yeah. and then you just tie that. Okay. That's the simplest lay that we have here. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's always the plumerias? Sorry. Lays of plumeria, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. Man, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So I think we all need to put them on and we need to take a group photo. Yes. Oh, how do I? Could you just tie the two ends together once? Yes. So I'm putting mine's on. <laughs> this is do you want me to help? Oh, I'll hold it. You put yours on. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hey ho! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> Looking good? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good? Yeah. Okay. Ah! I am not good. <laughs> oh, this is uh, how, oh, they're gorgeous. How did you, um, Okay, so I need to tie this at the end again. Okay, so use one of the raffia to loop not at the end. Oh, okay. So just tie a loop into here? Yes. And you're going to loop knot it twice at the end. Right up close? Yes, uh, as close as possible to your stem. Oh, okay. Okay. That's so beautiful. I didn't know what they were. Um, do you do the loop around? You, around? Yeah, so you're gonna loop, loop around your. So it's gonna, you're gonna loop yeah. around, and you're going to pull it through there. the knot like this. So if you can see that, just okay. loop again. It's not in. The, oh, and that? pull it through there. Yes, and then you're gonna pull pull it. Yeah. So it's like, and then do it again. 
Yeah. And you'll have the three raffia <sighs> left. Do you have three of your raffia left? Yeah. And then you're going to braid the rest of the raffia. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you want to smell? Oh, let me see. Oh, it looks oh, clean. Oh, it's so pretty. It turned out green. Hi. Oh, oh my gosh. You want to smell? She's so cute. You can smell the one with her. Charlie, you look beautiful, darling. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's like a garden. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think we already have it around I like your bracelet, Tian. It's really pretty. <laughs> Things is like falling apart, so I might like after this, I might try again from the top. <laughs> yeah. It was really fun. Oh, oh, so beautiful. cool. Yeah, it just takes time. Yes, right? It takes a lot of time. Um, I learned at a young, young age, so I have a lot of years behind me. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. I, yeah. Part of what's nice here in Kauai when there are special times or festivals or whatever, you can see ladies picking plumeria. Yeah. Um, whoever it is, plumeria. <laughs> Yes. They're picking big baskets. Well, I was wondering, we have beautiful shower trees here, but I think those flowers are too delicate. I've used those before. They really come out very pretty and they're kind of, they're kind of work just like um, bougainvillea. Okay. Yeah, because they're blooming the last month. They have the bright yellow ones and kind of like the um, cream color. Yeah, and orange. We have and like the orange, beautiful yes. orange. Beautiful. But we have one road that's just all shower trees. They were oh. planted there when they did the road. It's a bypass road in Kauai. So it's I love the shower trees. It's so really beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> okay, so after the one inch of braid, do we just knot that? Yes, knot that at the end. And you're going to tie that around your head. Someone in the background. <laughs> and then guys, I think we have just a few minutes left and I would love to take a photo with everybody. And um, yeah, I just would love to see your guys' stuff up close and personal and just hear a little bit about, oh, why you chose the flowers you chose. Um, but that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. Ooh. Oh, it's I gorgeous. I think I just made a mistake. <laughs> it's okay. I think I didn't cut it. It cut off the end, which was probably dumb. I hear. It looks like it's going to make it around. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, it's, it's so beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's very cohesion. <laughs> very large. <laughs> very cohesion. <laughs> Love it. Oh, oh it's beautiful. gorgeous. Okay, so should we try to do a gallery view with everybody? I think, mm -hmm. does that work? I don't know if everyone else is like that. Okay, so you said at the end you're supposed to braid it? Yes. Yes. So tie a knot first, double knot it, and then braid it down. And then knot again. Sorry. Everyone looks so great. It's so cool. I gotta get my, I don't know what I did. One that's like the Aaron's movie. Okay. Oh, I just want to wear this every day now. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it make you feel happy? Yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Mine's just taking over. <laughs> I love it. I tied this like totally my style. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> I I cut I this string it. a little short at the end, so it's hard to, you know, tie it to get it up higher. For me to pull it in. Maybe you can add another string and just tie a knot to it. Yeah, just make it longer. Yeah. That was so silly of me. I was not thinking. I was rushing. <laughs> I 
Kylie, how you doing over there? Oh, well, there's one part. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix it. Hold up. <laughs> I just got to tie um, the end real quick. Okay. <laughs> Well, I just want to say this has been so much fun and it's really cool to like connect with all of you guys all over. Like yes. this is so fun and I'll definitely remember this. I hope I get to meet you guys all in person one day. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Yes. Amazing job. Yeah, we'll do this again. Like I'd love to do another one and like get my friends. Yes, yes. keep doing it. Keep practicing. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe yeah, I can like, get my sister to do a painting class. For sure. <laughs> That would be so cool. Um, what else can we what else can we talk about or share? Oh, does anyone have any questions about anything? Like, um, I'm also an open book to answer any questions about anything you guys might be interested in. So, um, what well, is your was... favorite workout when <laughs> the waves are flat? My favorite workout when the waves are flat. Um, well, I have an amazing, I have an amazing trainer, and I see her three times a week. And I love um, circuit training. Um, setting my timer, tiny timer training is like always keeps me super motivated. Um, uh, gosh, I love cardio, but tennis is probably my favorite workout right now, just because it doesn't feel like a workout. But I'm getting a workout, um, and I do Pilates once a week. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, you look great. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what, Kylie, you're amazing. Yeah, I love your amazing. positivity. I, I think you should just your hold it up. And... Everything. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, oh. like, let's just take a quick photo. We're gonna take one of us. How are you, Vic? Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Smile. One, two, three. Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> Which way's up, but it's on. <laughs> I don't know how this ended up down here, but there it is. <laughs> you can cut it up and trim it too. You can trim your. Yeah, I will. I love the flowers. I just, this is wonderful. Thank you. It was such a great. <laughs> Thank you guys. And I also just want to recommend if you have any extra flowers as that symbol or that act of aloha, um, find someone you love and give those flowers away. So yeah. great. Thank I, you. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha.